With double gold around her neck, Miriam Bedard looked every bit Canada's Olympic queen, one with a King Midas touch. And with hundreds on hand, it was a homecoming befitting royalty. At her post-arrival press conference, it hit home. I think it's right now that I really realize that people are so excited. But when I was going in Norway, I, I went to the hockey game, and uh, people were taking pictures with me all over the place. I could not believe that everybody's recognizing me and, and appreciate so much uh, what I did. Most astonishing is Bedard won her second medal wearing mismatched skis, a mistake which might have cost her in what was the closest finished in Olympic biathlon history. But now with two gold in the bronze medal she won at Alberville two years ago, Bedard is only beginning to realize she's the most successful Winter Games woman in Canadian history. I start to get the sense, but uh, it's hard for me to imagine like all the impact. Uh, it's hard to believe that a gold medal can do all this. Her place in history means more than carrying the flag. Now she carries the burden of celebrity. And if all the attention of this homecoming is any indication, more corporate sponsors will likely jump on Bedard's biathlon bandwagon too. I think maybe some other people are going to come, but it's important to uh, always recognize the people who were with you all the time and not uh, leave those persons down because uh, they were the one who brought you there. So uh, I'm those people are going to be first and the other are going to come if if they want to respect me in my sport, uh, they're going to have a chance to. Miriam Bedard won't have much time to savor this Mirabelle moment. As we speak, she's on her way to her hometown of Lauretteville for a reception there. And then it's right back to competing this weekend at the Canadian Biathlon World Cup. Rob Sinclair, TSN, Mirabelle.